Hey, you know what? I get asked lots of times and I'm pretty sure that other safety professionals get asked lots. Why do you do it? Why do you do it? Why do you guys or gals do it? What, like, why do you bother with health and safety? Isn't it too complicated? Isn't it a lot of things? And you know, these are good questions. And I think really to answer why health and safety professionals do what they do, you have to understand what makes us tick. Hi, my name is Kevin Barrett. I'm a health and safety professional and I make health and safety related videos here on YouTube. And you know what? It's a really good question. What makes health and safety professionals tick? What makes safety professionals do what they do? First off, to understand it, I think, or to basically answer the question, you have to understand who we are. And honestly, we're the square pegs for the round holes. You know what? We're the ones that you'll be driving down the street and you'll see us mowing our lawn and we have eye protection on. Or we're weed whacking and we've decided to put on protective footwear. Or at least heavy footwear instead of like, you know, flip flops. And we're the ones that decide that we're gonna throw an extra blanket in the back of the vehicle just because we're going on a winter drive. We're those kind of folks. But you know what? We're also kind of science nerds. We believe in reliable data. We believe in stuff that we can actually research and see and come to a definite conclusion. So what we've learned is our opinions don't matter. What matters is fact and reliable fact. But in saying we're science nerds, we're also kind of different too in that aspect because we really like to re relate to all sorts of people. We like to work with everybody, not just people who are like-minded, just like us. We like to work with everybody. So that means the round pigs for the round holes, we like working for them with them too. We like working and, and figuring out a different way to do things in order to make things safer. In fact, we get bored easy. You know what gets us out of bed in the morning? Well, besides our alarm clocks and really good coffee, is a challenge. We honestly, if something's broken, we like to figure out a way to fix it. If something's not working as good as it should, we like to figure out a way to get it working as good as it should. Better, stronger, faster. And if it's really working well, we're constantly looking out ways to tweak the heck out of it and make it even better. That's why you often wonder, why are you guys changing the safety program all the time? Because continuous improvement is part of our DNA. It's what we do. We love a challenge. We get bored easy. We want a challenge. And honestly, a lot of times our jobs are a challenge because in most cases, and safety professionals, you go ahead, leave a comment below or put up your hand or do whatever. But how many times have you found that your bosses just find what we do is a mystery? Yeah, a lot of times they do. And a lot of times your coworkers will ask, why do you have to do this? It was easier before you got started or you just make things more complicated. And then of course we find too that, you know what? There's never enough time in the day to do what we do. However, on that note, you know what? We do have a lot of times bosses that think our work is a mystery, but most of the time they're there to support us. Now, the odd time we end up with a dud, like I had a boss who once said, Kevin, I know what you do. I don't understand any of it, but I know what you do. Oh, it all sounds so stupid. Yeah, yeah, I think it sounded like that too. However, for the most part, our bosses support us. Not only that, a lot of times our coworkers support us. They just want things safer and they understand and they see the importance of safety. So they say, hey, safety guy or safety gal, or sorry, maybe safety gal or safety guy, come help us with this. So they want our collaboration. They want us there. And you know what? At the end of the day, we close our laptops, close our books, go home, knowing that we still have work to do in the morning, but we relish that work and we know that the work will still be there in the morning. But that going home in the at the end of the day is the biggest part. We genuinely love people. We want to make sure that they go home, maybe even better than they arrived at work. They go home with all of their fingers and all of their hands and all of their toes and all of their feet, their eyes, their ears and everything intact. We have this thought, this notion, this, um, idea that if we work really hard to make the workplace a safer and healthier workplace, then it will be truly a healthier and safer workplace. We believe that every person has the right to come to work feeling safe and secure and knowing that they can do their job and do it well without any threat of harm or injury. By and large, why do we do what we do? Because it's built into us. It's who we are. It's in our DNA. We 
not only our safety people, we think about it all the time. It's in our DNA. We think about safety all the time. And if you've noticed, even when we're out and about and, and uh, just living our lives outside of work, safety seems to creep into our conversation. We talk about it, whether it's just uh, looking at risk and figuring out ways to reduce or eliminate risk. And only that, as I said at the beginning of the video, <laughs> we live it. We do it. We're the ones that wear the eye protection. We're the ones that stuff that extra blanket in the back of the vehicle if we're going to go on a drive. As safety professionals, it's our job. We think about it all the time and we want to provoke safety. We think about it, we talk about it, and we do it. Hey, anyway, I hope that answered the question. I hope that helps you figure out why we do what we do, but also maybe lets you know who we are. Because who we are is why we do what we do. If you like the video, do me a favor, give that like button a quick click. Now, oh, hey, do you like the hoodie? If you do, there's a link in the description below for this hoodie and other ones. Go ahead, check it out. But I'm also going to leave some additional resources here on this side for health and safety. I appreciate your comments and I appreciate if you'd have a look at the videos. But until we see each other again, do me a favor, think safety, talk safety, do safety. That way we provoke it at home and in the workplace. Take care. Bye for now.